Kids Kingdom. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ball game using random number generator. So let's look at my laptop. So let me show you the design first. We have a button, a label, another label, a button, a button, and a button. And these buttons you can make any color. And there's no, you don't put any text on it. The width and height has to be 40 40 for a circle. But not only that, you also need to go down. You need to go down and make the border radius 20 and the border width 0 to make a circle. And this you just put down by the text. Now I will show you the code. So here, there's no code. But I'm going to show you the code by making it. So first, we take an on event. The ID should be the button play or whatever ID you gave to your play button. Click it. And then you go to control. Go down. Get a time loop. And then change this to 2000. Because remember, 2000 millisecond is 2 seconds. And if that's the case, then every two seconds something will happen. The thing in this time loop is going to happen every two seconds. Now we come here and we get set position. We take three set positions, three of them, and all of them have different IDs depending on these little circle buttons. Button blue, uh, button green, button red or whatever name you give them. Now I'll show you what to do next. Next up we go to Maya. Then we get a random number. We place them in the first two slots of all of these set positions. And we do it. Okay, I'm done. This, these random numbers are the x value. So let's do x24. Yeah. The reason why we're not doing x1 is because if we did x1, then it would go out of the border. So that's why we're doing 24. Next, the next one, I we should do 105. And you do the same for all of them. Okay, then we're done with that. Now the Y value. Now we look at and look here, and the Y value. This area should be four fifteen. Four one five. Four one. Four one five. Now this. Uh, let's check here. Um, I think we'll do a five seventy eight because we don't want it crashing into the labels and the buttons. Uh, let me put this here. Uh, let's do seventy eight. Seventy eight. Seven eight. Seven eight. For these, we make them forty. Okay. Now that that's done, let's look here. Now we need to create a variable. Now let's take a variable x equals to 0. Let's make this a variable score. Score equals to 0. Then we take, uh, first of all, go to UI control, take an on event. Uh, just to make it quicker, just put, put the on events first. Then for the first one, choose one of the circle buttons. 
to the others for the other ornament. And, well, okay, that's that problem. The red. Okay. Now we take go. He, we go here. We go. He, uh, we put that there, and we make it four. Math. We go to math then. And then we put that here, and then we put score. We plus one. And then we write a one over there. One. And then we go to UI controls. And then uh, let's see if we can find it. Uh, where is it? Okay, found it. Um, uh, I don't know why I took one. Okay, so we put score here. And then we put score, but again. Okay, now we repeat the process. Let's do this. I know to do this with the camera. Uh, score. Uh, score equals to plus equals to score. Score plus one. And now the set number. Set number score score then make it a score then we make this score I've said score a lot in this video uh, it's a lot more than I've said usually usually in my life equal, this equals to score plus one now we get a set number then we make it score then we make this score and then your random ball game should work let's test it look at that score go up and every two seconds they change position and that's how you make a random ball game. well i hope everyone enjoyed that video hit that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget to share the video and comment down below and for now goodbye